Hi y'all, it's Crazy G, and I'm gonna attempt to put makeup on and talk to you guys, because it's not my forte, you know, I'm no professional YouTuber. I do do my eyes first, so excuse the redness. And um, I have the new Prism palette, the brush just fell out, whatever. But we're gonna start, see what happens. I'm getting ready to go to work, so we'll see how this goes haven't touched it yet so we will see how this goes I'm going to go in with unity first as I guess a transition and I need to look in the mirror because just not and, and I'm on my camera because my uh, camera breaks everything up into files and it takes like 10 years to export if I'm going to do it that way so I'm just going to do it on my phone, see how this comes out. And the kick up is not too bad. I'd say like modern renaissance. But this is like a... Looks like beige. And I do have my eyes set with the paint pot in painterly and a cream colored shadow, which is not in the palette. So this is a... L34 Blend Beauty SL Miss Glam Brush. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag or something. But I'm just going to kind of sloppily put this in the above crease. It just looks like a beige shadow. And since the paint pot has a little bit of a beige tone, I can't really see this color so much. And another thing, like, I can press pause on this so I don't have to, like, edit anything out because I suck. I suck with editing. I don't know what the quality is going to be like, but we'll see. We'll see. I actually cleaned my brushes for this. <laughs> Something I rarely do. I know, it's so bad. It's so bad. So I'm going to take this Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. I have hooded eyes so I have to kind of, you know, use smaller brushes. I'm going to go into this mauve purpley color called Lure. And this is pressed harder than a subculture so this is easier to use. And I'm going to go in the above my crease area so when I open my eyes you can still see this color. Still tapping in lightly with this. And just it's blending really nice. Blending nice and easy. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do, but I think I got this for that green. <laughs> I like this dimension purpley silver color too. It's kind of cool. But, you know, you know me and greens. Got got to have them greens. So I'm kind of just blending this lightly and upward a little bit on the outer corner, not much. Up into the crease and lightly out. Hmm. And I know I've been kind of MIA. Y'all know I work a lot. And um head off for Halloween and I did all the kids makeup and my makeup and then I had to do like five 12 hour shifts in a row which damn near killed me but uh such is life right so yeah that's what I was doing and then when I finally had a couple days to myself it's like I crashed I crashed hard. I wanted to make some videos, kind of have them prepared, but I was like vegging out uh, to Netflix. I watched both seasons of Stranger Things, which was quite cool, I must say. It was like they drew inspiration from uh, Goonies with like the slingshot, the kids with the slingshots. Ghostbusters, um, X-Files, like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, like all them 80s movies, 
they drew inspiration from, which was quite cool, I thought. But yeah, it was interesting. I also watched the series of Mind Hunter. I'm totally into, uh, you know, what people think or why people do some of the evil things they do. So, yeah. I think I want to go in with Eden. Or should I do... I'm going to go in my outer corner with a um, parallel with brown color in there. And I'm going to take this Morphe E36, very small brush. And I'm going to just get that on my outer corner. Right here. I have a few other things. Probably not going to do my whole foundation review. Or review, not reviewing any foundation. But um, my whole foundation routine off camera just because I cannot see in this room doing my foundation like I can't tell if it's even or not so I have to go in my bathroom and I do my foundation but everything else I can do in, in the, these weird lights I don't know why it looks like blue toned on the, the video but hopefully I can kind of fix that these shadows are really nice. I'd say still use a light hand. I mean, it is Anastasia shadows. But they're blending out really easy and really nice. I don't know if I could ever get... And that was like one of my things with doing like a get ready with me or whatever. I'm always I always do my eyes first and I'm afraid if I don't do my eyes first like I'm gonna have a hot mess and most of the time when I'm getting ready it's usually to go out somewhere so I don't have time to like <laughs> fix a mess up but I don't seem to be having any fallout we'll see when we get to a shimmer if I have fallout or not we will we shall see I do want to use these um, peachy tone colors in here. I don't know if I'm going to do that for this look, but right now I'm putting a little bit of lure into the crease again just to kind of deepen that up just a little. And I have uh, a few new things that I want to use today and see how it goes. Just a couple. And I'm probably going to do a haul video. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but stuff that I needed pretty much. And I'm taking this all the way in to the almost inner quarter. With my shimmer shades, I am going to use a, a glitter glue because for me and my hooded eyes, if I don't, it'll be up into my crease. And uh, I typically don't like that, but I have done it. I just don't want to today. Not with this. I want to use this green color, so I'm not going to mess around with it. So I usually take the eye candy and I take my <clears throat> MAC 242. Is this the way I'm going to do it? And I'm going to have my Sephora Pro Shader 18 on hand. I put a dab of this on the MAC brush. And I just dab it on my eyes. I'm so blind without my glasses. But I haven't worn my glasses in a long time. But I realize when I'm putting on my makeup, it's the worst. Because I can't really see what on earth I'm doing. So I just dab that on. Now I'm going to take Throne. This really pretty green. And kind of pack that on the lid. Ooh, it's pretty.
me where I put that, uh, um, you know, <laughs> glitter glue. That's it. That's what I wanted to say. So do any of you, like, zone out to Netflix? And what are your favorite uh, shows? What do you like to watch? Because now I'm looking for something new to watch. See how it, it catches. Like, you get addicted to this stuff. You know what I mean? And I like thrillers and I like sci-fi. Mysteries. It's like my thing. Serial killer stuff. <laughs> I'm just weird like that, I guess. It, it fascinates me, like, why would these people, like, these are things that I would never dream of doing, but why would a person do some of the things that they do? And I'm like, oh my god, really? <laughs> this is a really pretty cream. I kind of get it right up to the crease where it meets that transition color. And, you know, I do use a setting spray sometimes and wet the brush, but I can't use it alone. Because just the setting spray alone does not keep the shadow in place for me. I have only a small amount of shimmer shades. Yeah, I'm getting fallout with this small amount of shinner, sh shinner, shinner, shimmer shades that I don't need to use a glitter glue with, but they are rare very much. I'd say these shimmers are comparable to subculture, as I think they have a lot of the methicone in there, a lot of slip. They make them feel almost wet, but they're not. So, there's that. I'm talking, talking low. I feel like I'm talking low. I hope you all be able to hear me, but I got the kids home. It's Veterans Day. No school for them. Blah, blah, blah. So the video games are out in the living room. And all that stuff. Interesting. I, this color is so cool. It has like, um, it looks like it has glitter in it, but I am not sure if there's glitter in it. Hmm. Interesting. And this is a Morphe brush that, uh, came with the Copper Dream set, I believe. I love this for the lower lash line and the outer V. So I'm going to take a little bit more parallel that brown and kind of smoke it out a little bit in the crease. And this is where it can get go really wrong for me, but we'll see. I'm only going to work, right? But I don't want to make this video like super long for you guys. You know, I forgot to turn my notifications off. I got emails coming through. I hope that doesn't affect the video. Because I will be really upset if that happens. Because I can't start over. I'm here. I'm just here. So I'm just kind of winging it out because I don't ever do winged liner simply because I don't feel like it looks right on me. But um, I practiced and I practiced and I practiced because I wanted to do a wing so bad and then when I finally got it, <laughs> I wiped it off because it didn't look right on me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm going to use a color switch and get that... Uh, brown off and go back into this small V color lure and just go over it just to bring it back a little bit. Oh, I'm 
tired too. You know, I work night shift, so it's like your body is, your, your life, your whole lifestyle is different. You're on a different playing field than everybody else in the world, so it feels kind of, I don't know, weird. Because I can never sleep through a night, even when I have off, I wish I could, but I'm always up. Everybody else is sleeping, so it's very quiet. Okay, I'm going to do this eye off camera. It's going to be a very smoky look, obviously. This eye off camera, and I'm probably going to do my base, and then I will be right back, and we'll finish the lower lash, lash, the, the lash line, and we'll mess with, I have the hourglass strobe. I actually got one of these uh, Wet n Wild highlighters, and figure that out. So, I will be right back. All right, so I have my base on. I used the Tarte Smoothing Primer in just my T-Zone. Um, Hourglass Mineral, Veil, or Veil, Mineral, whatever, on the rest of my face. Um, the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir and the Naked Skin Concealer. So let's do the under eye. And since the top is so dark, not sure I want to go that dark on the bottom lash line, but we'll see what happens because sometimes I have things planned and it just don't turn out. So let me take this Unity shade that we first used just as a blending type color. And these lights are so bright, it, I have such a hard time seeing what I'm doing when these lights are on. It's kind of annoying. But it's starting to get dark out, so I don't have any, I don't have a lot of natural light coming in this area. And I like to use this brush on my lower lash line. I've been really liking, liking to smoke things out, because I feel like it covers some of my eye wrinkles. And when you're about to be 44 next month, uh, that's a big deal. Eye wrinkles. And it's not like anything will ever take them away. Sure, you can hydrate them, but I really don't think there's any thing unless you get a procedure. Oh, did I tell you the foundation, the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir? That's what I used. I'm so into that. And it's so weird because um, the other day I uh, had to take my sister to a procedure and she needed a ride. So, and I knew I was only going to be out, I'm going to take the mauve color under my eyes. And I knew I was only going to be out for a few hours. So I used um, an old Holy Grail of mine. Uh, the primer was It Cosmetics Bye Bye Poor Primer. And the, um, the Bye Bye Foundation. And that was a Holy Grail of mine for the longest. Like I can't tell you how many tube is of that I went through. Really loved that foundation. I didn't like it when I put it on. I haven't worn it in such a long time and I'm so used to how other foundations are looking, especially this one and a few other ones I have that I really love. And that did not, I did not like the way it looked and I was kind of surprised because I always loved it. Didn't think I didn't love it. <laughs> And it's so weird how your mind changes and when you try new stuff and you see, oh, okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. So, I wasn't in love with it. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I still went out with it, but I just didn't like it up close. You know, when you look at something up from far away, it looks great, but when you look up close, you're like, eh, no ma'am. Well, that's what, that's the vibes I was getting, and I was just not into it at all so I really do I really do smoke out the lower lash line I've been into that a lot lately I just feel like with my eye shape it looks better and since I don't ever do winged liner it kind of gives the illusion of a winged liner something I really hope this turns out all right I'm gonna take this pointy pencil liner brush I I think I got this in a Coastal Scents set, not sure, but I think so, and I'm going to take Parallel 
and just go on the outer corner with it just to darken up and match the top right on the outer skirts. I'm probably going to pause this video one more time to do mascara because I don't know about you but I hate watching people do mascara. <laughs> the waterline eyeliner doesn't bother me but uh, putting on mascara I'm like all right all right everybody in the world knows how to put on mascara like unless you're like trying to show somebody what the mascara does I guess that's different and I kind of reinforce the outer corner with this this is definitely a dark darker smoky eye and highlight the brow bone I'm going to take a little fan brush where did I get this I don't know where I got it no name and I'm gonna take the wet and wild see what this does to what is this blossom glow I wanted the botanic dreams but it was sold out and I just take that I don't really have much of an arch but from the middle out and just highlight it right there on both sides obviously <laughs> I'm so tired I so do not want to work 12 hours I'm like, oh, I'm like, you know, forces to be, you know how hard I work. Why can't you just let me win something from the lottery, please? No. You know, we keep trying. Can't win unless you play, right? But we have not won anything. It would be nice. That's pretty. It's a pretty color. I love pinky highlighters, but I usually only use the pinky ones when I'm... Um, doing more cool toned look and I feel like I have to lighten this up a little bit so I'm going to use Colourpop's Crybaby which is a really light like lavender color into the waterline and I really kind of pack color on the waterline because it's got to last a long time Okay. I don't know what color blush I want to wear. But I like how this lightens up the look. And I'm kind of basic. I don't like tight line and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm going to... How do I want to jazz this up? I'm going to take my brush from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. They should have put this brush in all their palettes. Because this... I know it's double-sided. That annoys me. But it's a good brush. And I don't understand why they don't put this one. Because the other palette, the Naked Palettes can't stand that brush but that's what they did I'm gonna take spear this bright bright yellow I'm gonna put that on the inner corner because I am right in the head and y'all know that and I like to play so why not Let's see what this looks like hmm it's not as bright as I thought it was gonna be but it is showing up. And it is brightening, brightening. I rarely use matte colors in my uh, inner corner. Rarely. But I think I got an idea. I think I got an idea. I and that's how I do stuff. Like I'll, I'll just I start out. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, and then things just kind of happen. <laughs> and come together and uh, there's been times where I've done my makeup and I was like oh, I gotta go out like this because I ain't got time to fix it and there's other times where I don't want to take my makeup off because I like it so much you know what I mean it's all fun and games right I 
think what I want to do. And I really load up my inner corners. And sometimes I feel like pictures and videos don't really show that. I'm going to take this first color lucid. Hmm. It's kind of chunky. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Kind of put it right on top. Oh, that's neat. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I kind of dig that. I don't know if you can see it. I hope this video turns out all right. I want to do more stuff like this. I'm sorry, like, I'm just trying to concentrate. It's probably why I'm talking monotone, I guess you would call it monotone. This color is a little chunky. You do need to work with it. But it's pretty once you get it working. Yeah, so like I was saying, I have a haul. Obviously, this is part of the haul. Um, so it's just I can speak a little bit more about it after I use it a couple more times because this is the first time. And I don't really tend to like first impressions because, you know, your, your mind changes. So, and I have my empties are building up. I have quite a few empties, like always. And I know my subscriptions are going to start coming in, and Thanksgiving is coming up, and Christmas is coming up, and blah -de blah blah blah. I'm going to whip away some fall out. Oh, and I used the powder I used today was the Too Faced um, Ethereal Born This Way powder, you know? I like that powder. It's pretty neat. It's a nice powder. Okay. I wipe away the ball out. Yeah, I am going to use the blush from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean uh, little palette here. I really like this. This blush is like one of my favorites. Something I use pretty much every day. Kind of goes with every look. I guess it's quite neutral, and I do like my blush. I like it a whole lot. I haven't been bronzing or contouring lately. Hair is going everywhere. I don't know. Since it's starting to get a little chillier out, I just feel like, hmm. And I'm only going to work, so I try to skip steps here and there. Because I don't have that much time. I think my old man's home. He's probably going to barge in. Sorry if he does. But life. Life. And I kind of blend it all the way back. It kind of um, gives the illusion that your face is just a tad slimmer than it usually is. So I don't really do apples with the cheek stuff. But I'm using a really light hand, blending it, and brushes this Luxie 514 blush, so it's not like a stiff brush at all. And I think it just applies the perfect amount of blush. Yeah, I'm recording. I'm like, are you recording? And for highlight, my favorite part of the day, I have the eyelash. Uh, hi. Uh, Say hi to everybody else, too. What? Recording. Oh, well, well, if you put your little light on there, it says recording. I don't know. Yeah. Hi. I said to say hi. All right, see ya. I didn't have any makeup on. Okay, bye. Pardon me. Uh-huh. Am I bothering you? A little bit, yeah. You want me to come back later? No. No? No. Okay. Anyway, the Hourglass Ambient Absolute Strobe Light. Oh, there are the names of it. Pure Strobe Light. Lucent Strobe Light. Oh, 
metallic strobe lighting palette. This is their Christmas palette. Oh, don't blind me or you. I'm going to go in with the first pinky shade. Okay. Well, hello, Hourglass. I really like Hourglass as a brand. I I feel like yeah, they're pricey, but I think their their formulas are I think they're directed to older people, even though I don't feel like I'm old. But it just doesn't show texture. They're smooth. Um, their other palettes, you know, they're not as blingy as this one. And, and I have highlighters that are even more blingy than this, but it's just pretty. It's very pretty. I almost feel like just want to swipe across all three and put all three of them on. I, I probably could do that, right? He said I couldn't. The makeup gods. They say you can do anything you want to do. And this is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. I like using this and I like these powders are a little more densely packed in here and I just felt like a brush like this would really blend it into my skin. Hmm. It's pretty. It's so pretty. You know, up here, down here a little bit. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. Ideas. I'm going to take the, this uh, illuminator brush from, I don't know where this is from. I'm going to take that, the middle shade. It's more of the yellow shade in here, and I'm just going to concentrate it right there. And sometimes this is not even noticeable because, you know, I have long hair and it kind of covers it up anyway, but I do it anyway, right? Do it anyway. So yeah, that was my old man. He is from South Carolina, and he is definitely a hick. But he's a good good hick. So we're kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm definitely rock and roll. He's redneck, so the kids are a little bit rock and roll, a little bit redneck. Actually wrote I wrote something about that when I was in my English comp classes. I wrote a lot of things. I like to write. I do um I do enjoy that from time to time. I'm actually gonna go all three all three let's just do it right glow 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 all right that's really nice not sure if i want to i kind of want to add glitter i'm not going to add glitter i'm going to be good I'm not going to add glitter today and then what i do on an everyday I take the Hourglass Mood Light with this, I think it's a Coastal Sense brush, flat top kabuki type brush. And this is the more mauve tone and I kind of blend my blush in with the highlight to give it a more diffused look. And uh, kind of, um, it gives it like this filtered effect which I really like. I use that and then my hourglass in ethereal light. Ooh, I'm hitting pan. And I take this Morphe flat kabuki brush. Don't know what number. I think it came with a set. And I just, I buff everywhere. And it just really gives your complexion um, an just a nice like filter almost. I almost want to take that wet and wild and put that down my nose and on my cupid's bow because I'm a little I, I, I need more. More is more. It's not enough if it's not more is more so yeah. I kind of just buff this and this is the buffing technique. You can pretty much use any powder that you like. And my hair everywhere. Alright, so, 
kind of happy with what that's looking like. Definitely a darker smoky eye. A little pop of color in the inner corners. I'm going to put on my mascara and all that jazz and I'll be back and we'll do a lipstick and see how it goes. Alright, so everything looks better with mascara. But I think I'm going to do a little extra with this wet and wild. These are so hard to open. Someone keeps coming in. God knows. I don't get much privacy, but that's okay. I'm going to put this more on my nose. And more on my lip. I'm going to keep it bow because, you know, that has to be right there. In the highest points. Maybe that was a little much, but yeah, whatever. All right, I'm going for a lipstick. What do I want? It's very cool toned. Paper flowers. Less green. I think I'm gonna go with paper flowers. This is Necromancy Cosmetica. These are bullet style, style matte lipsticks. These are so easy to apply. They're creamy, but they kind of dry down, so they last a long time. I really like this formula. And my favorite colors from this line is uh, Paper Flowers, which is like a cool toned gray purple. Why I'm trying to talk while I'm putting lipstick on is beyond me. Um, Less Strange, which is um, it's like a gray toned, really light purple, but you can't, I mean, you can see the purple, but it's not like in your face. And, uh, Mugwort, which is a cool toned berry. It's so pretty. And I think these are my most worn lipsticks. Just because they're so easy, aside from my ultra satins, I wear them all the time. Yeah. Um, underneath, underneath this, I have had the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm on my lips. Yeah, stay hydrated. And I know this isn't the most perfect video in the world, but this is my first time doing something like this. And I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, because who's got time? Ain't nobody got time for editing. Not this girl, anyway. Believe me, I've been trying. And I was like, forget it. <laughs> and I, I work too much for that. I work too much to be able to do that one day, hopefully. But yeah, this will be how I am going to work. I will do my hair and get dressed in a... In a bit, whatever it is what it is, right? Got some whew, whew going on. <laughs> anyway, I really like the hourglass um, strobing. I love the Wet n Wild highlighter and the palette, the Prism palette. Um, I like this look. I think I will have to play with it a little bit more. I really don't like to give my opinions unless I used every shade, and I haven't used every shade, so there's that. But yeah, you're never wrong if you're always yourself, so I guess that'll conclude this. Get ready with me, playing with new makeup. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'll call it something, obviously. And I'll see you in my next one. Y'all have a good night. Bye.